Hey guys, it's Elise and welcome back to My Cupcake Addiction. Today I'm going to be bringing you a range of teeny tiny absolute miniature desserts inspired by my new app crush, The Cooking Fever Game. If you haven't played Cooking Fever before, there are loads of restaurants to choose from, but I've just managed to buy my own bakery, so I'm having a fabulous time decking it out with all the coolest furniture, making cakes, cupcakes all day long, and making sure that I'm serving my customers on time and not burning any cakes. It's the most addictive game. I'm having a great time playing it, and I have heard that once I make my way through some of the levels, there may be a mystery ice cream island somewhere offshore, which I'm determined to get to. I'll leave the free download link down below for Cooking Fever if you guys want to check it out. But let's get started on today's awesome mini desserts. Oh, yeah, right, mini desserts. I told you it's addictive. So the things that you're going to need for today's mini desserts, we're going to be making them all on cookies. So I've got Oreo cookies. This is the size of our dessert. Some of them are smaller, but none of them are bigger than an Oreo cookie. And I reckon this would be perfect for like a fairy party or a little tiny tea party. I've also got some vanilla wafer cookies. I've got some jubes. So I'm using some little tiny kind of patterned jubes. And then I've got some regular sized jubes or chewy lollies. Some red M&Ms. I'm using these little, these are like a little chocolate cup that we get here because someone in Australia discontinued Rollos by the roll. So if you're in the States, use Rollos. They're tastier and pretty much the same thing. I've got some little red or dark pink sprinkles, some blue sprinkles, a serrated edge round cutter, a rolling pin, some melted milk chocolate, and a little bit of my famous buttercream frosting, which I'll link to down below as well. Let's get into it. One of the best things about all of these is that none of them require any baking. They're super easy. So for my little bunt cakes, which are one of the integral parts of my game that I keep on burning, I'm going to take a pair of scissors and I'm using little vanilla wafers because they're pretty easy to cut through without breaking. So I'm going to use scissors because I've got a sharp point, but then they kind of get wider and I'm essentially going to drill them down in the center. I'm getting my DIY on. I'm twisting and drilling and then you'll see that I've made like a nice little hole. You can see my scissors poking through the end. And I'm just going to keep on twisting because as I go down further, my scissors get a little bit fatter and so they kind of easily, gradually open up that hole. Perfect. I'm going to repeat that with all four of my vanilla wafers. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the tip. She's very helpful. Perfect. So with all of your four little mini bunts, cookie things, all caught out, now you want to take a little bit of chocolate and we're going to use it to sandwich them together. So I'm going to make one chocolate and one vanilla and one of them's going to have blueberries and one of them's going to have strawberries on top. I'm going to take a little bit of that melted chocolate and I'm just going to spoon it across the top and then kind of tap it down to let it run down the sides like it's frosting on a bundt cake. Taking some of my little blueberries now, I'm going to pop those on. And then for my vanilla one, I've just popped some of that frosting into a Ziploc bag. I'm going to snip off a nice little corner tip and then I'm just going to kind of pipe some frosting onto my bundt cake cookie. And as I pipe it, I'm going to kind of let it come out a little bit, a little angle, so it looks like it's that frosting-y look. Perfect. Now on go my little strawberries. And that's my two little bundt cakes. To secure them to the little Oreo cookies, I'm just going to use a little bit more of melted milk chocolate. And they are plated up and ready to serve to my customers. Teeny, tiny, I reckon one bite, mini bunts. These ones are probably the cutest ones. These are the little cupcakes, and we're going to do two on a plate. Of course, I love the cupcakes, my cupcake addiction. So I'm just going to take a little bit of melted chocolate, pop it on the bottom of one of my little chocolate cups. And down right over to one side of one of my little cookie plates. And then on the other one, I'm going to do the same and just kind of lean it on the angle because it was a little bit too big for me to fit two cupcakes on one plate. But I definitely want two cupcakes on one plate. I'm going to let those ones set. Now, while they're setting, I'm going to show you how to make the little kind of like jellos, I guess, little moulded jellos. So for this, you're going to need your rolling pin. And I've got a tube. Now, the beauty with tubes is once you roll them out, they kind of spring back into shape. So I'm going to use my circle cutter. We're going to roll them, cut them, and then they're kind of going to shrink back up. So roll it out, put quite a lot of pressure on, and I like to flip it over. And then when it's nice and flat, I'm going to quickly cut it with my little cutter. Pressing down. Pulling away the outside edges, which you then get to eat. And out pops a nice little base. Now that's going to continue shrinking up, but it's got those nice little kind of rippled edges, just like if you had molded a jello. I'm then going to take one of my little jello looking jube lollies, and I'm just going to cut off a little bit of the bottom because I don't want it to be quite so tall. And I also want to make it a little bit sticky, and the stickiness is going to attach that to that bottom jube. 
and kind of make like a little bit of a molded jello. You're going to need three of those per plate. And in the game, they came in orange and yellow and then also in pink and purple. So I've kind of done both colors because I had them all in my jubes packet. Once they're all made, you can use a little bit more of that melted chocolate just on the very, very base. And don't put too much chocolate here because we don't want to see it around the outsides of the jello, but you also don't want to see it coming through the inside because they're a little bit transparent. And three. Now back to our cupcakes. So I've still got that frosting in the Ziploc bag and I am just going to pipe on a nice cupcake swirl that's teeny tiny, starting in the outside edge, coming up nice and high. And then on goes a miniature M&M as the little cherry on top. These are absolutely adorable and out of all of them, I think they're probably my favourite. Now finally, in the game, these are little espresso shots and they are absolutely the bane of my existence. I can never get my coffee machine to pump out coffee fast enough for all my waiting customers and they tend to get a little bit cranky. So I'm going to make a little chocolate espresso shot. On two of these guys, I'm just going to trim off the sides and if you're using a Rolo, beware, it will have caramel inside. So I only take off the very, very outsides of the sides. But as a bonus, your espresso shot is actually going to be filled with smooth flowing caramel, whereas mine's just straight chocolate. Disappointing. When you're doing this, it's also best to be working with room temperature chocolate to begin with, because it's just a lot easier to slice and dice. Then I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to turn over and I'm just going to sort of bore a bit of a hole, almost the same as we did with those Nilla wafers. So just turning, turning. This helps me to actually get the chocolate out without putting too much pressure on the piece. Obviously, if you have Rollos, as you do this, you are going to be exposing gooey caramel and that's going to be utterly delicious. All right, so now you just want a tiny, tiny bit more of that melting chocolate, which is very fast unmelting for me. Join these two base bits together. Pop the top section on top and pop it off into the fridge just for a couple of minutes to set and then we'll even it up. So once that one's set, I'm just going to go around the outsides with my knife and it should be nice and chill. So you're essentially just going to shave this chocolate off and kind of just neaten up the bottom without taking too much off the top. I chilled it because it's going to start to melt in your hands very quickly. And that is your teeny tiny espresso. Not quite enough to get me going in the morning. I hope you guys have enjoyed these really fun no-bake mini treats inspired by the Cooking Fever game. Now you guys know what I've been spending pretty much all of my spare time doing. If you want to run your own bakery or restaurant, become the best chef and obsess over things like profit margins, burning cakes and customer satisfaction, make sure you check it out. I'll leave that link down below. As always guys, thanks very much for tuning in to My Cupcake Addiction.